Well, just in time for spooky season, the Butterfly Pavilion has brought us some new friends to promote their spiders around the world exhibit. And speaking of new friends, we're so excited to welcome Francisco here today to tell us more about it. Francisco, thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing all of these incredible creatures. Thank you for having us. Of course, this is amazing. Every time we have you guys on the show or we come to you, we always learn so much about how amazing spiders are, especially for our habitat. So before we get into too much, can you tell us who we have here today? Sure. Here we have a Mexican red knee tarantula. Okay. Then here we have our main animal ambassador, the Chilean <laughs> rose hair, also known as Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a tiny baby spiderling, which is an Antillean pink toe tarantula. Wow. And you guys, these little baby spiders are, the baby tarantulas actually are really cute. I never thought mm. I would say it, but honestly, these little fuzzy babies are just adorable. So can you tell us more about these spiders and what they do, especially for our ecosystem, how good they are for us? Of course. Yeah, well, spiders are normally associated to fear, and we're trying to change this perspective. Yeah. So we're, like you said, trying to show how amazing they are. Right. So here we have a baby, baby spiderling. I like to call it cute. <laughs> it is. It has like a tiny mouth in the shape of a heart. Yes. Uh, it's metallic, it's blue, it's fuzzy. We have now an, a special exhibit at Butterfly Pavilion displaying baby tarantulas, which is really exciting, and that normally doesn't happen much. Yeah, and we want to get a shot of this little guy sure, here. Sure, yeah, of course. You can put him right here. We're yeah, going to get a no little close-up. Of course. You're right. These are really cute. And mm -hmm. Okay, so and tell me more about the rose hair, too, because this one is incredible. Yeah, of course. So, again, it's the main animal ambassador. The yes. Chilean rose hair tarantula is a very, very popular pet among the hobbyists. Okay. Um, she's very docile, very nice. That's why we use her to show people how amazing spiders can be and how sweet they can be and how cool and fussy they can be. Yes. And finally, we have the red knee Mexican tarantula, yeah. which is a tarantula from the deserts of Mexico. And we sh show her to just talk about the importance of conservation. Amazing. These tarantulas are not doing that well in the wild, so we wanna also talk about how important it is to protect them, yeah. not to squish them, and to just enjoy them in general. Right, exactly, and yeah. so many people's first idea is, oh my gosh, a spider, I need to, you know, squish it or kill it, but yeah, these no. spiders are so good for our environment, like you said, so tell us about this Spiders Around the World exhibit. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit before the show, and mm -hmm. it sounds like it's really impressive yeah. this year. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, yeah. so now for Halloween, we we are having this amazing exhibit. Yeah. So basically there has been a, like, a huge spider takeover. So all of our exhibits are now inhabited by spiders. Wow. So we have tarantulas from all over the world in all these different shapes, sizes, and colors. And our main exhibit, so basically the butterfly rainforest, one third of it has been taken over by or waiver spiders. Wow. So we have free roaming spiders, so you get to experience face-to-face -face spiders next to you. So it's 80 feet long, and these spiders are all over the place, so you can go and see them in a very, very close encounter. Also, it's gonna be from the 1st of October to the 31st of October, so we really recommend everyone to come and check it out and give spiders a second chance and enjoy them as Absolutely. much as we do. Absolutely. I think, there again, like you said, there's just such a stigma of fear around these spiders, but they really are fascinating and just such beautiful creatures. And being able to walk in their environment, like you were saying, mm -hmm. just sounds like it's such a neat thing for yeah. so many people to do. Yeah. Tell me more, too, about the work that you guys do at Butterfly Pavilion, because spiders and butterflies are just really a fraction of what mm -hmm. you guys do there, right? Yeah, we work with all these types of critters, so we're working with several arthropods, such as millipedes, centipedes, a lot of spiders, beetles, and butterflies, of course. We're currently working on programs to start knowing more about how to breed these spiders, so we're carrying out research on roses. Yeah. It's a very special spiders so we want to understand more about their mating behavior and how can we get more babies out of them wow yes. well speaking of rosie i can't let you come here without me getting my <laughs> yearly holding yeah of, of course rosie. So yeah can I, can I hold her definitely you incredible. can hold her incredible and people for we, we have a lot of people moving to colorado if i can so get your hand yes please perfect of okay. course so for those who don't know, holding Rosie is quite an honor, and I'm I'm excited to do so. You know, she's like an amazing spider. Wow. So here we have our baby Hi, chili. sweet love. There we go. Look at her. I know. Bam. Nobody can say I'm not brave. Look there at this. There you go. Oh, You're making nothing it. to be even afraid of because she's so perfect. Yes, wow. she is beautiful. Oh, well, Francisco, thank you so, so much. No worries. And people can come and still hold Rosie, right? Yes, of course. Okay. They can come and hold her and look how amazing she is. She the colors, is. the coppery 
front part. So yeah, incredible. It's a well, really beautiful spider. Francisco, thank you so much again. We're so excited to have you here to tell everybody about this yeah, amazing new exhibit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you for having us, and I really course. recommend everyone to come and check it out and enjoy spiders as much as we do. Absolutely. Like Francisco said, guys, check out the Spiders Around the World exhibit now through October 31st, and you can just head to butterflies.org to learn more and to get all of those tickets.